The biggest thing is before you start, clean out the machine. Alright, so this is part two video of my series on my 831 slash an antique machine. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to clean your machine and how important it is. It's like one of the most important things that you can do. Sometimes your sewing machine won't even work until you do this step. So make sure you do it. If your machine came with a booklet that looks like this, you're probably not going to have the little box of knickknacks that it came with. If you do have that little box, this is where you start with the little brush that's inside there. Mine actually has a brush. I don't know if this is original Bernina or not, but mine has a brush. If you don't have the box and you don't have the brush, it's not the end of the world. Those little paint brushes that maybe you used when you were a kid or maybe your kids use, this will work for what you're going to do first too. The biggest thing is before you start, clean out the machine. Go back in here and take all these pieces back out. And you go in there and you get all the dust and dirt out and lint that you can. I got a sewing machine from somebody one time and they said, oh, it doesn't work. Can you see what's wrong with it and fix it? There was enough lint in there to make a sweater. There was a piece of a needle. There was tons of strings in there. Keep this area very, very clean. When that lint and gets to the oil, it sticks to the oil. And if it builds up where the oil, the gears are running back and forth, it'll hit that lint and mash it and mash it and make it even um, like a really hard piece of metal in there that it hits against and it'll mess up the calibration of your machine. So keep this cleaned. I would say I clean it every time I put a new um, bobbin in. I run out of thread, I clean it out. I actually like to take one of these little air duster things and once I use the brush for the dust, then I also blow it. Now there's some people that say don't use these because it'll blow the dust in, like I said, in those cracks and corners. My sewing machine guy uses one of these and I just like to make sure I get all that last little bit of dirt and lint out that I'm not going to be able to get with this brush. Even blow off these pieces here, brush them off first, then blow them. And you should be good to go. Sometimes I even blow up in here. Once you've cleaned it of lint, you've cleaned the outside of the machine, it looks really good, you're not quite ready yet, you're going to get some good machine oil. This actually came with a little bottle of oil. Right here is what it came with and I actually never used it. I always use the oil that my sewing machine guys gave me. but. Sewing machine oil is sewing machine oil, and that one's running low, so we're gonna try this. And inside here, right where that little hook comes down, is where you put a dot of oil. Less oil is better than more oil. More oil traps more lint, gets into those gears, messes up the calibration, especially on a machine like this. This is not a computer, computerized machine. It uses cams. And you don't want that stuff to get messed up. All right, you've put your half drop of oil in there. You put this back together, goes carefully on that hook. Push this back in. Make sure that your bobbin is all clear of dust as well. Brush it all, dust, lint. You'll get lots of lint, you'll be surprised. If you have a pipe cleaner, you could use a pipe cleaner up here to the top of this and that would help clean that out. The biggest thing is before you start, clean out the machine. All right, I hope you guys learned something. Part three is coming, happy sewing.